Watch this. <laughs> That's sick. Dude, science rules. So once again, we're going to be testing your survival skills with a try not to die challenge. What? That honestly sounds like the most horrifying experience. Like, what is this? Like, try not to die challenge? Like, I was trying to chill today. I saw that video and I wanted to be in it. <laughs> I'll give you everything you need to complete a specific survival hack. Cool. You'll get two points if you can figure it out without watching a video. Mm -hmm. One point if you can figure it out after you watch a video. You'll get zero points if you can't do it. The person with the most points wins and the person with the least points dies. Okay. All right, now I see the premise. It's a figurative death. So I have to really be on my man versus wild stuff today. Last time I survived, right? Today, try not to die. I might fail it and die. So first up, we've given you everything you need to start a fire. Doritos and a lighter. We used to do this in elementary school for our teacher trying to tell us like not to eat chips because how much fat they have in there. Is this what they teach you in Boy Scouts and Girl Scouts? Because I've never gone to those things. I think I'm not supposed to burn the bag because that's bad for the environment. We're gonna do some testing, some A-B testing, right? So a little too flammable, it immediately goes out. It almost doesn't hold the flame. They light up! Right? All I can think of is just lighting the chips on fire. Why don't we just try lighting a f***ing Dorito? All right. Why is this holding a light so well? You create your bed, you let that generate some smoke. Are there smoke alarms in here? And this is it, and then you just pile a bunch of wood, or Doritos, depending. Start a bigger fire. Okay, let's just like go around, just light other ones. Oh, the, I think I ran out of gas. And you can just do this and it'll be on fire. I'm pretty sure the fat. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> No, don't do that. <laughs> As the grandma in the Christmas Krampus movie says, keep the fire hot. There, now I've created my own little campfire. This is the easiest one. I was actually expecting it to be kind of a challenge. I'm like, oh, you chose the easiest hack. Really makes me think about eating Doritos now. It's in our bodies, we put that in our bodies. So these little Kirby chips are great to kind of stack. Oh, okay, so they're stacking it up. That's insane. See, they're doing, I mean, they're doing the same thing I did. I just lit it first. Cool. Nice. Uh, very simple. Everyone, pile up. This is how you make hot Doritos. Oh, oh, let's f***ing go. We got a f***ing fire. Oh, we got warmth. <sighs> wow, that's big. <sighs> you guys, oh, okay. Oh, f I let it go too long, God damn it! So for your next hack, let's say you're bleeding and you needed to make a Band-Aid. Okay. So we've given you everything you need to make a Band-Aid and what you need to test it. So okay. you've got some fake blood there. You're gonna put fake blood on your tin foil like it's an open wound and then make a Band-Aid for it. Is this a tampon? Wait, is this what I think it is? Yep. Is this a coffee filter? No. No? Oh, it's tampon. Oh yeah, no, this can still easily, this is, if anything, is way better. A tampon's pretty like, much like gauze, right? This is fake blood? Yep. And I have to pour it on this tin foil. Just a little bit of, oh no, ow, my skin, I'm bleeding. So with all this plastic? Step number one, how do I unwrap this? Knowing myself, I would have a knife on me so I'd be able to dice this up. Oh, there's scissors. I'm gonna be honest, I've never, like opened a tampon. I don't know if they're openable at all. Welcome to a tampon unboxing video. See, I already bled out at this point. Wow, I've never played with a tampon like this, ever. Like literally ever. We're about to learn what a tampon looks like in the inside. In any situation, say this were my arm, I would take the, the tampon, just expand it as much as I could, and then apply over the blood. How does it work? It expands, right? When it gets soaked? All right. All right, we put it down. Now we tape. Watch this! Bam! <laughs> Band-Aid! Literally all a Band-Aid is. Seems like that would be a good like absorption right here. And there we go. No blood. These survival hacks are things I've done just growing up as a kid being lazy or practical. Well, babe, this was a really good try. You definitely had the right idea. Unfortunately, I don't think your band-aid would quite do the trick. So, we're gonna have you watch a video and see the proper way to do it. Oh! 
Oh, I see. Okay. Oh, okay. I mean, yeah. It's just kind of like, it's pretty like, it just makes sense. That's way more tape than you would use in a wilderness situation. You're in a wilderness that you're trying to save on resources. They're just like, oh yeah, tape, tape, tape. Yeah, because you're at home, bro. I still have a whole ass band-aid left. I gotta cut the person first. I just put on lotion, so maybe that's why. Still didn't do it right. It's okay. Oh, I did. Oh, <laughs> okay. Same thing, same concept. I'll be mindful of uh, waste here. You know the deal. I, I secured the cut. You know what I'm saying? If you can't start a fire, there are other ways to stay warm. Can you make a heater with these items? A heater? These are the more complicated ones. All right, is there anything in the bucket? Calcium chloride pellets. We're gonna open this up first, right? And that might be my, the biggest task for me, <laughs> is opening this up. Ugh. Is that salt? The forbidden Dippin' Dots. Someone could literally make this look like Dippin' Dots and give it to someone to eat. This is like Breaking Bad kind of stuff. What's going through my head right now is, should I apply the water directly to these pellets, or if there's a second bag here, should I apply water first to this bag and then place this inside? So I'm gonna take the pellets, F it, I'm gonna apply the water directly. How much water? Okay. Let's hope it doesn't melt the bag. Oh yeah, that's it. It's already getting warm. <laughs> Boom, heat. Make sure it's sealed because we don't want any water leakage. Just, oh yeah, it's it's hot, it's hot. Oh, it's hot. That's awesome because it's like a like a little like hand warmer and it gets so hot. This is too hot. It's like not sippable for like tea. See, if you do it like that, it's pleasantly warm. If you just grab just the beads, that's where it gets really hot. Look, there's even look, there's a little steam. Just want to pour it in there. Damn, oh, this feels so good. So wow, yes. that's awesome, cool. That's exactly right, two points. Yes. Dude, science rules. This video shows you how to make a hand warmer that can be activated at a later time. Oh, ooh. Oh, okay, so there's the water. Oh, I see. So they're keeping the two solutions separate. He's got it all packed up. Pushing the air out. Ooh, so fancy. That's a good ass idea. I'm glad I figured that out without the video. I was like, hmm, this is just chemistry. Logic wins again. Really shocked right now, because no one literally taught me how to survive. I was just born and no one told me anything. and I'm just figuring it out on my own. So next up, if the electricity goes out, you're going to need to create your own lantern or lamp. Okay. So do you think you can make an amplified light source with these items? Amplified. Okay. Scissors. Lighter again. Box cutter. Candle. LaCroix can. This is interesting. Obviously there's gonna be some cutting required of the can. This is like a light bulb, and I feel like I'm supposed to figure out a way to put it inside. I don't know. I know how to do it with like a water jug, you know what I mean? So I'm assuming it's the same thing, almost. My first idea is to cut a few windows in this, or you could just make one window, stick the candle inside, and then the light has to travel through just one area. I guess I'll just start, you know? Okay. Okay, cool. Two equal, okay. Say where to do this, right? Take our candle. A light. The can. And that's a light, right? Yo! That's fing home decor, bro. HGTV House Hunters, where you at? Whoa. And then I could cut holes in it and it would give off more light because it would have more light room for light to escape. Everyone turn the lights off real quick. Y'all want to see this? This is romantic right now, bro. This is, this is sick. Wow. Okay. <laughs> what? Was this it? Oh my God. <laughs> I feel so accomplished. Oh, 
Oh, yeah. Oh. I can't navigate you through a cave, but I could probably get you from your living room to your bathroom safely. Well, I appreciate this take on this. This is not the correct hack. I'm going to say that would have been... All right. I'm curious to see... I mean... There's probably other ways to do it, but I'm like, this is definitely a simple way to do it that would give you more light. You were on the right track, but not quite what we were looking for. Are you ready to see the official hack? Mm, that's what, maybe I was looking for that. Okay, let's see. So they cut down the middle. They cut in like an eye shape. Oh, I see. Okay, 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 yeah. So they just cut, okay, cool. They cut a little window also. Ah. Ooh, when he just opens it up like barn doors. That's f***ing sick. Exactly what I did. Except I just removed a whole door. I only tried again. It's literally the same thing. Now I'm actually gonna cut a hole, just do a little slight, small slits in this. Come on. Woo, I fold it open. Aha, wow. Oh, now I place a candle, I light a candle and I place it inside. Let's achieve the same thing. It's using the aluminum to bounce the light off. Could achieve the same result, just slitting slits here. I was just lazy. Slice the middle, okay. So it can open up. Vibes. That's fucking vibes in here. Yo, this is dope though. Imagine having like 20 of these in your room. So for our last hack, now, we've been really nice today, and we've given you a lighter as a source of fire, but what if you didn't have a lighter? I could still make fire. I'm confident my ability to still make fire without a lighter. Let's see if you can. So for your last talk, you've got cotton, a battery, and steel wool. Mm, this is interesting. I haven't done this method. Create a fire? With what? Like this? Does that work? Oh, sh ah, brain. <laughs> that was cool. If I just touch it. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? Does it react like, what's happening? Did something happen? Did something happen? I don't understand. What I'm gonna assume is we're gonna take a little bit of the steel wool. This is probably gonna be our conductor between the positive and the negative of the battery. And while we do that, we have to get our cotton ready because it's our flammable piece. So if we, there it is. There it is. There it is. Whoa! I'm. This is the craziest thing ever. Fuck you, look at that. That's wicked. <laughs> That's sick. Oh, man. I love science. There it is. Yay. You we did, did it. it. We did it in the last episode, and I learned a lot from that because I guess that was the one I was. That's the one that really stumped me. I didn't know how to like get a fire going, you know? But, you know, it's just a little conductivity. It's cool, it's fun. Put this battery in my mouth and rub my head with this. Oh, y'all got a fire extinguisher out here? Oh, watch the video, hold up. Battery still will con. What the f People really be doing this out here? Wow. Wow. I was having fun with an experiment. I was like, this is how logic works. Let's check my brain's logic. Oh, look, it works. When I get it exactly like the video, just, I want to pat myself on the back. So, go for it. Oh. Ah. Uh, now I know why we have a fire extinguisher. Okay, oh, 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 shit, oh, shit, oh, shit. Yes! Yes, 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 yes. It's like the Elmo meme. Have you seen the Elmo meme where it's like fire, finally? <laughs> points and you got 10. I survived. <laughs> Yo, did I get a perfect score? I didn't die. These just feel like puzzles. Just trying to figure out how to get to that solution in the end is just really fun. I think I did better than expected. Usually like for these type of things, I rate myself pretty low in like what I could do maybe because I just don't try it, but I feel pretty good. This is the most I've ever felt like a winner at React ever in my life. I'm still so like shocked. <laughs> That I did that. <laughs> How do you feel about your reliance on the internet for survival? Oh, we're we're all I'm I'm one million percent reliant on survival. I think everyone else is too. They might just like try to avoid it. Let's go camping, actually use all of these methods. Only way to survive.
Let's do it. Thanks for watching us. Try not to die on the React channel. If you like this episode, then hit that like button. Subscribe for new shows every single week. Which hack was your favorite? Let us know in the comments. Thanks for watching. Deuces. Hey guys, React Producer and Mary here. If you want to show your love and support for FBE, then head over to shopfbe.com to check out our latest merch. Thanks for watching and don't die. Bye guys.